Hey everyone, today I want to deep dive into the universal law of correspondence. This is a very powerful law that has impacted me profoundly on my spiritual journey because I did not realize that what was going on inside of me was a direct reflection of what is showing up in my everyday life. So the law of correspondence teaches us that our outer world is a reflection of our inner world. So simply put, as above, so below, as within, so without. Whatever you're experiencing externally is a direct mirror of what's happening inside of you. If there's chaos and stress around you, it's likely that your inner thoughts and your emotions are in a similar state of turmoil. So inside of you, you're going to be going through a lot of chaotic thoughts, a lot of limited beliefs might start to come out, a lot of fear-based things, and you start to experience that on the outside of you. Also, this can take an effect on your appearance. You may notice that your skin might be a little bit more dull. You might start to break out when you're going through a profoundly deep inner turmoil. It will reflect out on you and you will start to see things and people that show up in your life to self-affirm what is going on within you. Let me introduce myself. My name is Stacy. I am an intuitive numerologist, spiritual teacher, mentor, and guide. I help people bridge the gap between developing their spirituality as well as personal development. So on this channel, we do a lot of topics about numerology. I have a profound love of numerology because of my field. I've helped hundreds of people with numerology and it's always been a tool that I've used that I found to be about 99.99% accurate in my findings when I help my clients so therefore I do a lot of that on this channel as well as different spiritual topics and universal laws like we're about to go over today to help you bridge that gap between seeking knowledge and getting the knowledge you need that is what I'm here for so if that's something that interests you and you're shaking your head like yeah that sounds cool then it's a channel for you go ahead and join subscribe and make sure you comment below as I go through these topics if they are helping you and they are resonating so let's jump right into it guys now getting back into the topic of the day the law of correspondence it is very important to understand this law here's why When I first came across this law, I didn't realize that how much power I had over my own reality simply by controlling what I was thinking and what I was feeling and what I was developing within myself. We often think that life is happening to us, but in reality, it's responding to what's going on within us. Once I learned this, I started paying more attention to my thoughts, emotions, and my energy, and I didn't let everything and situation trigger me anymore because I noticed that if it's being triggered within me, it is going to show up on my outside reality. That is why it's very important to kind of be mindful of what you are consuming because that energy can be left in you. If you're watching the news every night, then you're picking up on that energy, it's manifesting inside of you and now all of a sudden where you didn't have fear and you weren't living in the separation energy now you're separated from your fellow man you want to fight because they're not on the same side as you you are just kind of like disgusted with half of humanity (laughs) you start going into this fear-based energy and that is what's going to reflect on the outside to make sure you you know that you're not going crazy because that's just how this universe works Now, how it may affect your life, let's break it down a little bit. If you consistently focus on lack, fear, or negativity, your external world will reflect that back to you through difficult circumstances such as toxic relationships or even just an overall sense of dissatisfaction. On the other hand, though, when you shift your focus to abundance, peace, and gratitude, you start attracting a lot more into your life, a lot more things that can reflect what's going on in you. So if you're going to concentrate more on peace instead of um, um, peace, instead of the opposite of peace, chaos, if you want to focus on the peace that's happening in your life instead of chaotic ed- events that's happening in your life, your inner being your inner self is going to feel more peace and more at ease and more circumstances will show up on your outside world to reflect that back to you but if you're in a chaotic energy always thinking about the next wrong thing that's going to happen the next wrong possibility that could happen the next fear-based thing you're going to consistently be affirmed that in your reality because it's just a reflection of you look around at the people that you're surrounded with 
if you're trying to manifest more money in your life, look around the people that you're with. How do they think about money? Did they think in a lack poverty mindset? And if they do, that's because that is what is still reflecting inside of you. They're just showing you what is going on inside of you. This is what this law of correspondence is all about. In my worker bee days when I used to bartend, all my friends around me were bartenders as well. That is what I was. I worked off of tips and was constantly chasing the next big event that's going to give me a big windfall of money and then it just would go out consistently go out and it's because the people around me were in that same exact energy that was going on inside of me of the hustle 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 and spend 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 so they would give me reasons to spend 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 <laughs> but as I started to have my profound spiritual awakening back in 2020 I started to want to open up my own business I want to become an entrepreneur and then the people that are in my current reality that were in that reflection of my old self, they couldn't really understand me anymore. And it was a time that I saw that this was not going to continue the way I was going forward. There's going to have to be new characters to reflect what is going on inside of me now. So then I started to meet a lot of other entrepreneurs and small business owners. And that's because I had to close the door on the old friendships that I had. Because unless they're going to reflect back the new version of you, it's not going to be something that you're going to keep in your reality because you will stay back in that old reality. If you want to, the universe to reflect back the new version of yourself. So now let's talk about some tips of how to align with the law of correspondence. The first step is awareness. Start paying attention to your thoughts and emotions. What are you consistently focused on? If you're consistently focused on lack and having to pay this bill and that, 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 you're going to be affirmed that in your reality, it's going to reflect back to you. If you're consistently thinking and focus on your lack of health and how you're not feeling well and nothing's ever feeling right and your knee or your back, or your, you're going to, sh it's going to literally show up. Not to mention you have a whole universe inside of you, your cells, your organs, they are alive and they're pumping. So if you're programming it and telling that old story to your cells your organs repeatedly how things aren't working out it is 100% going to show up for you like that you got to talk to that universe inside of you nice talk to it nicely so it can reflect back up to you better circumstances you'll start aligning with better doctors a better care team that will instantly make you a lot better than how you were vibrating before because what you vibrate is going to reflect back to you including doctors including relationships it's, it's going to wrap back to you what's going on in you and what you're going to be settling for the next thing is you want to do is once you've noticed where your energy is you want to shift it shift your energy you can shift it by using affirmations you can practice gratitude wake up in the morning and just start a rampage of how you're just so grateful for waking up how it's going to be a beautiful amazing day how everything is working out how things are always aligning in your favor how you have a beautiful family you have a beautiful home you're so grateful for your health your kids like go into it start your morning off that way it's going to help your inner state to start to want to reflect that in your outside reality you're now going to want to experience all those things that you woke up in the morning going off about the final thing you need to do is trust the process the more you work on your inner world the more your outer world will naturally shift okay the more you work on what's going on inside of you the more the outside of you is going to reflect that new state of oneness peace abundance prosperity love it has no choice it's law but if you want to change your life start by changing your inner world start by mastering the law of correspondence this is one of the most powerful ways to take control of your reality if you're ready to dive deeper into these spiritual teachings and learn more about the whole universe and how it works and it can transform your life I do have an online membership a monthly membership that it's the only place where I will do 
readings because I do readings here and there. I only do them in person now. I've stopped doing them on YouTube. But if you join my membership, that is part of the benefits is that you get to experience that. I do keep the membership small so it could be a kind of intimate thing where you can get one-on-one -on -one group coaching in a way. So it's one-on group coaching. So I try to keep the group small so that way you can get more attention and more of your answers answered for me. So if that is something you're interested in, I'm going to leave that in the link below. It also comes with over a hundred of my content that is not on YouTube or any other social media that you can learn and grow from. These are various topics on universal laws, energy healing, numerology. There's different pick a card messages I have. There's just unlimited library for you guys to experience. And if you're interested in that, it's going to be the spiritual butterfly memberships. It's going to be in the description below. And also I have a online numerology academy. If you want to learn more about your path, you feel connected to numbers, and you are at a time in your life where you feel like you're meant for more, you just need some more guidance, and you want to tap into your soul's path, your soul alignment, because if you're feeling off about something, chances are you're not on your right soul path, and learning your numerology chart in depth will teach you that. So I'm going to have that link below. That's Stacy's Numerology Academy. And thank you guys for joining me today. Have a blessed, loving day, and I will see you guys tomorrow in the next episode. Ciao.